Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us. One big, happy, exciting family that we are. I'd like to mention that I do have a private Facebook group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. Also, if the video is too fast for you, you could always go into the description box below the video. There's a two minute link. It shows you how to slow down the video and also to pause the video, have your closed caption turned on, take notes and take it from there. I do not write patterns for that reason. I put closed caption on. You guys can pause, take notes and it helps you to slow down the video and go with it. Remember, everything is possible to create. Some people might say, I can't do that. That's just too experience or too, you know what? It's by there that you can gain the experience. And sometimes you'd be surprised at yourself, actually. Um, another thing I want to mention, I also have a Facebook page. You can follow Instagram and TikTok. Sometimes you guys create certain patterns and you're stuck, not just out of my own, but other people's. And I have a few of you that message me on Instagram or on my page. So, or in my group, of course. Um, so you're more than welcome to do that if you're stuck. I am here to help you. So no issues. Um, you can follow me on all of those social medias. And please do share the videos. Sharing is caring. The more we can invite friends and family, the bigger we can grow. It helps us creators to keep going. It's a way of gratitude towards us. And we highly, highly, gratefully, you know, appreciate all the help that we can get. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. They only sell them here in Europe. They're similar to Aunt Lydia, number three cotton. Mine's a little bit thinner, so my pieces become a little bit smaller. Remembering that when your tension is too tight on any project that you do, use a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If it's too loose, then cut down on the hook, uh, a size uh, smaller or two. Uh, in order to tighten up your tension. I get questioned a lot about these balls of thread. They're 100 grams, equivalent to 300, 325 grams. They go for $12. The minimum of order, which I'm shipping them out, are uh, six balls because of the shipping costs. It's horrendous. It's crazy. Uh, what can I say? I don't own the post office and the uh, shipping uh, company, right? can't beat them up as they say so if you're interested let me know uh in the description box there's all the informations like i said there's all my social medias there's also my email and patterns that i do create and you're interested to buy them you could also email and get a hold of me i do sell them okay so uh for the most part i use 2.75 hooks sometimes three 3.5 pair of scissors to cut in, uh, cut the loose ends, and of course a small one to tuck in loose ends. Okay, let's get started everyone. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. I know that quite a bit of you like to watch my videos, but you got very lazy fingers or thumbs to give it those thumbs up. Help out the creators, not just myself, but many others that do need the help. Okay, it costs you nothing, it's for free. Thank you everyone. Oh, and of course, thank you to all the women that came through for helping the other women in need of thread um, by donating. I also have the PayPal account below. You can donate for some of you that are considering or haven't yet. And below the video, there's a little bag of thanks. That's donations uh, to be also received, but that belongs to YouTube automatically. They take 30% off of whatever you're giving. So for that reason, I have the PayPal account below because they don't take nothing. And it's more for the women. I also want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the ones that have been tipping me for my work, for my services and my time here, dedicating myself almost day in, day out for you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Okay, you guys. So pretty much I've been creating the bathroom set. So I have the toilet lid uh, cover. Okay, it goes right up top, and of course the center is like that, goes in the toilet. I have the toilet little mat that goes in front. 
okay and now i'm going to do the oval one the oval will be creating after this oval one i will be creating um a half moon for the top i think it fits better and i think it looks really nice so you want to might stay tuned for that for the half moon these are all heart shapes for some of you that haven't seen it yet or it hasn't followed me yet so these are all heart shapes and all the set will be in the same design okay so let's get started everyone so i'll be using 2.75 hook these threads go by number this is number 29 they're four ply they're similar to Aunt lydia number three that lydia number three is a little bit thicker so your patterns become a little bit bigger which i prefer when it comes to tablecloths and rugs mats things like that or placemats i find it that it advanced quite a bit on size and we don't uh, use so much of the thread right because it automatically becomes bigger right okay so let's get started everyone okay everyone so i pretty much finished the tutorial on this doily which was supposed to be like a sink uh rug mat and found it to be too small uh, as a mat for the sink floor so it becomes a beautiful doily if you have like a bigger counter for your sink on the bathroom this is perfect as a doily to put you know if you have a tray with your perfumes or decorational uh, whatever you use little cotton balls uh, um, whatever a lot of people use uh, many different things on the sink to decorate so this will be as a doily for the set which was not supposed to be but because it's small it it's too small for the floor so i'm gonna have to recreate a bigger one for the floor and use this one as you know the doily for the sink uh, counter so you might hear me uh, during the video talking about you know uh, you want your rug bigger double your thread perfect would be like aunt lydia number three because my thread is smaller thinner my patterns become smaller this is way too small for the floor so uh, you might hear it during the, the the video as i'm recording this talking about the rug the mat but uh, you know just ignore that part and take this as a doily if you want to create it also makes a beautiful doily just for any room any table any little uh, section in your home so uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i will be creating a bigger uh mat rug for the sink floor so this becomes automatically a doily because of the size okay thank you so much everybody enjoy the tutorial so the first thing you want to do is that slip stitch knot that never counts for anything and i'm going to do 48 chain stitch one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, until 48. I've done my 48 chain stitch. I'm gonna come back on my sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, on my sixth. So let me just recount. One, two, three, four, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So on my sixth one, I'm doing a double crochet next piece another double crochet i'm building groups of three double crochet okay except for the edge we'll be using this edge for something else two chain skip one two one to the third and create your groups again we're going to do this all the way until the end of this chain stitch and you're supposed to land exactly on your last chain okay so two chain and skip one two come into the third one create your group of three double crochet one per stitch okay i'll meet you at the end Okay, so I've done all my nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm going to come on this side and I'm going to close with slip stitch. Okay, so we can have that little hook. If your tension's too loose, you can do less one chain, okay? So now I'm going to go up one, two, three. That's for my double crochet and two for a space. Coming in that two chain space, creating those groups of three double crochet again. Two chain into the next one. Two chain, so creating those groups again. All the way to the end. Okay, everyone. So I'm basically at the end, I'm going to do my two chains. I'm going to come inside of that uh, six chain we did, okay, and with a double crochet, one chain space, back in, double crochet, one chain, back in, double crochet, one chain, back in. I'm going to do this six times. I have four, one chain space between them, five, and my last one. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two chain. I'm coming in directly inside of my two chain space and continue to create my groups. Now, remembering what we do on one side, we must do on the other side. Okay, so just continue to do your groups two chain and go inside of the spaces with the three double crochet groups and then. I will meet you um, here just to make sure because we already have one, okay? That one we did here, that already counts as one. So we have five more to do on that side, okay? So I've reached almost a corner, two chain. I'm coming directly inside that six chain space, one chain space. Remembering what I said, we already have one here, so we need to do five now, okay? So I have two three, four, and five. One chain, and I'm going to hook it on my third chain, okay? So now we have the six. Six on this side, we one, two, three, four, five, six. Another thing I want to mention, for people that use like eight ply, um, or you're doubling, sometimes you want a bigger rug, even for your bedroom in this model, you can double your Aunt Lydia number three and you get a perfect size for a bedroom. When it's like that cotton, like Aunt Lydia number three, and you're doubling it, that won't slip because it becomes heavy. But if you're using like Red Heart and, you know, all of these other uh, softer uh, threads that are not as heavy, they do sell back parts to glue onto the pattern so you don't slip. Don't forget. I mean, this is, you know, like in this case, this is cotton or any other yarn or whatever. You don't want to fall and hurt yourself. So they do sell them at the hardware store or online. Maybe you want to check for that. If you're going to put that to use or children or older people around, you want to make sure that they're not going to step on and slip and break an ankle or a hip or something. It's extremely important. Okay. Okay, everyone, so now we are going to do the second row, and I'm going to call it the second row so you guys don't get mixed up and lost. First row is where we have all that one double crochet, one chain space, okay? I'm going to go up one, two, three chain. Coming back into that same one, we're doing increases on these six, two on each stitch. So I have two already. I'm going to do one, two chain, coming on the next double crochet with one double crochet. We're going to always have a row of group of three, next row, one double crochet, next row, group of three, next row, one double crochet, two chain, 
and continue with your groups to chain and three double crochet. Two chain. So we're going to build three groups of three double crochet. And on the fourth one is going to be the foundation of our heart. So we're going to do four double crochets. Okay, so we have one, two, three groups. On the fourth one, we're doing four double crochets. And we'll be doing the same thing exactly on the other side, right across, as we're doing on this side. And then continue again with your three double crochet groups all the way to the end. And then I'll meet you here. So I'm pretty much at the end. I also have three groups on this side. And we have to do exactly the same thing on the four corners with that one double crochet. So two chain. And on my last double crochet here, one double crochet, two chain. I'm coming in that first double crochet with double crochet. We're starting the increases inside of the oval edges. Two double crochet, two chain. Next stitch, two double crochet, two chain. We're going to repeat this like this on both edges the same way. Okay, so two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, two chain. You're going to complete it, and then you're coming back in doing that one double crochet, two chain, and then your three groups, and on your fourth one, we're doing four double crochet, and then three groups again, and doing that one double crochet on this side, and then two on each stitch here, okay? So I'll meet you at the end everyone so I finished row two and of course I consider row two it's not hard to to figure out so we have the six double crochets here that's row one so you have only one two next row three so it's always the increase one two three chain I'm going to come into the second one and do two double crochets so here's my increase chain two. Remember what I said here, we'll always have a row with group of three double crochet. All four corners will be the same. Next row will be only one double crochet. Okay. Chain two. Continue to do your blockage. We're just going to do the increase where we did the four double crochets here. So I'll meet you there. So I've reached where I have my four double crochets. I'm doing just two double crochets here and one per stitch. We'll have a total of eight double crochets because we will do two on the end little space. Okay, so one per stitch and two on the last one here. Two, four, six, eight. Continue to do your two chains and your blockage. And when you get to the corner, you must do that group of three double crochets. All four corners are the same. And then increase two on the last double crochet. So we'll have three and two chain space between them. So very simple. So we're doing two inside and one on top of that double crochet exactly how we did on here all four sides will be the same way to chain on the first double crochet groups here at the edge one double crochet on the second two together on the same stitch to chain then continue on this is row three i'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone started the row four so I've closed in with slip stitch went up three chains on the next double crochet one double crochet and the increase two at the end chain two now this row is only going to have one double crochet 
okay, on all four corners, chain two, and continue to do your groups of three, double crochet until we get to the foundation right here. So that means you do one more group. We're doing two double crochet, one per stitch, and two double crochet. So we'll be having 12 double crochets on this row of the foundation of the heart, okay? So I've reached the foundation. I'm going to do two double crochet only, and then one per stitch. And then two at the end. So I've done my 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 2 at the beginning, 1 per stitch, and 2 at the end. And then you continue with your three groups of three double crochet, two chain, and again the group. Coming in uh, on top of the last double crochet with a double crochet, exactly how we have here. And then the increase at the edges. One double crochet, next space, one double crochet, and two on the last double crochet. Okay, and two chain, continue on. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so closed in row four with a slip stitch, went up three chain, one double crochet per stitch on the last one, two together. I have a total of five. We are on row five. Chain two, we're going to create the three double crochet. So one on top of the double crochet and two inside of the space. Chain two, and continue to create your group here. chain two, we're doing the increase here on the foundation of the heart. So two double crochet, one per stitch, and then at the end, two inside of there. So we had 12, we'll have 16 this time on this row. Okay, so I've done my 16 double crochet, two in the first space one per stitch and two on the last one, two chain. So basically we're creating these two groups on this side and then coming in and doing the increase at the edge. So here is two double crochet and one on top of the double crochet. Two chain, one double crochet per stitch and two on the very last one. And then continue again to chain and do your increase. I'll meet you at the beginning of row six. Okay, everyone, so I've started row six. So I've closed row five with a slip stitch, did three chain, one per stitch, two at the end, two, four, six, chain two, doing one double crochet only, chain two, create my group of three double crochet, chain two, and I'm coming into the heart foundation again. So I'm going to do two double crochet only. On this row, you should have 20 double crochets. So one per stitch all the way to the end. Getting at the end, you're going to do two inside of the space. You're supposed to have a total of 20 double crochets. So I've done my 20. I've done my group exactly the same. Four corners are always the same. My one double crochet, and then of course, we're going to do the increase on the last double crochet, total of six double crochets. So one per stitch. And on the last one, two double crochet in the same stitch. Two chain space and continue on. So I'll meet you at the end, at the beginning of row seven. Okay? 
Okay, everyone, so onto row seven. So I've closed row six, slip stitch, three chain, one per stitch, two at the end. Chain two, create my group. Now on this row of the foundation, we're going to have 24 double crochets. Two chain, two inside of the first space, and one per stitch, and two at the end. So it's just a repeat now. So 24 double crochets, okay? And then two here, two chain, create two inside, one double crochet, two chain, and your increase on the last double crochet. So that's pretty much the only difference on this row. I'm going to continue mine to do my 24 double crochets, my groups, and my increase at both edges. Because there's not really um, much difference here on this row. The only difference is to increase here on the um, heart foundation to uh, double crochet at the beginning and two at the end. And I'm going fast because it's just a repeat. Um, it's just double crochets. So I'm coming into the space with two double crochet, two chain, my two double crochets here, and one on top of the double crochet. Two chain, and create your round edge. By increasing two on the last one, you'll have a total of seven. Okay, so I'll meet you at the beginning of row eight. Okay, everyone, getting into row eight. Row eight is going to change a bit. So I've done my eight double crochets, the normal as we've been doing, my two chain, my one double crochet. I'm, I'm going, so here, before I forget, my goodness. So we're doing three double, um, three groups uh, or three little boxes, I should say, two chain. I'm doing only one chain here, and I'm coming into the next double crochet. Chain two, and on top of the double crochet from the foundation of the heart. So we're doing 24 double crochets again, one per stitch, and we'll be doing all four corners the same way. That's the only thing that is changed here. And of course, we're not increasing any longer. We need to decrease to finish up the heart shape. So we're doing the 24 double crochets again, one per stitch. So I've done my 24 double crochets. So we're at the last one. I'm gonna do my two chain coming inside of the first double crochet with double crochet, one chain only and into the next one to chain and continue to fill in your uh, edges, your round edges with one double crochet per space and on the last one, two in the same stitch. We'll have a total of eight. We are on row eight. It's gonna change again, row nine. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so row nine, two, four, six, eight, and nine. So it's the same thing as we've been doing, two chain. I'm coming on top of that double crochet with double crochet, one in the center here. So I'm creating a group of three again, and one on top of the double crochet. Chain two. Coming on top of the double crochet, doing one double crochet per stitch. I'm going to do a total of 11 double crochets. I've done my 11 double crochets, two chain. I'm gonna skip two space, come into this third space, and doing three double crochets, one per stitch. 
chain two, skip again one, two, into the next one. Let me just check here a second. I knew there was something wrong here. Okay, so we have to do 11 on this side also. I don't know where's my head. So you skip two stitch, two chain, and we'll have a total of 11 double crochets on this side also. What I was doing, it's what's going to be on the next row. I guess I'm, in my head, I'm a row ahead, right? I was like, that's not going to be enough of 11 double crochet. I must have done something wrong here. So now I should have my 11 double crochet on this side. So skipping two, stitch, chain two. Again, one double crochet, one in the center, and one on top of the other double crochet. Exactly how we did here at the beginning. So we're going to repeat that. We're still doing the increase, of course, with nine double crochets, two on the last double crochet, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So two, four, six, eight, ten, row ten, two chain, doing my one double crochet, two chain. Coming inside of the space here and doing my three double crochet group, two chain, we're decreasing now, skipping the first two double crochet and into the third. So we're decreasing for the shape of the heart. I'm going to do seven double crochets. That means we don't do the first two and we don't do the last two, you should have seven double crochets. Okay, so one double crochet, two chain the group, skip two double crochet, do seven, and we don't do the last two. Two chain, and we're going to do a group here in the center of the heart. Three double crochet. Two chains. Skip the first two, come into the third, and do your seven double crochets. This is what it's going to be for this row. The increase at the edges are still the same. So we don't do the first two, and we don't do the last two, four, six, seven. Okay? Two chain, come here on your space, create your group of three double crochet, two chain, and one on top of the double crochet. Two chain, and into the motives at the edge. With the increase, two in the same stitch on the last one. So you should have a total of 10. So I'll meet you at the beginning of row 11. Okay, everyone, on to row 11. Row 11 is all about creating groups of three. So two chain, creating my group. Two chain, creating my group. So it's all about groups of three double crochet. Two chain, skip the first two into the next. So I'm going to have three double crochets here on this row 11, two chain, skip the last two, and then continue on. Doing your increase at the edge, we'll have 11 double crochets. So this is what it's going to be, just groups of three until we increase here 11 double crochets. Two inside of the space, one on top. Your group here, we'll have three um, double crochets here, skipping the two first and not doing the last two. 
Very simple. Two chains. Give the first two into the third. Two chain and again. Two chain, two inside of the space, and one on top of the double crochet. Two chain, and going to your corner motifs, doing two double crochet on the last double crochet. Okay, so that's pretty much what it looks like. So it's all about groups on this row 11. I'll meet you beginning of row 12. Okay, everyone, going into row 12. So I've done my row 12 uh, in the beginning. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Always an increase. This row also will be all about the groups, except that we need to do that one double crochet. Two chain and create your groups. That's all there is to it. All the way around. Two chain and create your groups. Okay, so all four corners will have that one double crochet and the increase at the end. So I'll meet you at the beginning of row 13 because it's just a repeat of the groups of three double crochet. Okay, you guys, so I finished row 12 going to row 13. Continue to do my groups of all well, the motives here at the edge. Increase two on the last one. So I've done my two. I'm going to do two chain only on the four corners. Everywhere else is going to have one chain only. If your tension is extremely tight, you can do a two chain, okay? So I've created my group, one chain. Coming into the next one, creating groups again. This is all about groups. The only difference is I'm doing one chain. If I see it's pulling too much, then I'll do a two chain. Creating groups again. And then after this row, I'm cutting my thread and I'm gonna come in with the gray. So one chain space. Doing my groups of three double crochet, one chain into the next. Okay, until we get doing one chain until we get here, where we have the first two chain going into the motives, we're keeping it two chain at the motives. Okay, only until here we're going to do the one chain. So I pretty much did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, space of one chain only. Now I'm going to do the two chain and continue my oval. We can't do one chain because it's going to pull uh, onto the pattern too much. So we must keep that at two chain. And then we continue to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So once we finished doing two chain and the increase on the very last one here, so we're still going to do that two chain exactly like we did at the beginning. Do our double crochet, two inside. We're going to create our first group. And then we start doing one chain exactly how we did with, on the other side. After this row, I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with my gray. Okay. Okay, everyone, so finish row 13, going to row 14. This will be different. We're doing, I'm starting right here where we've closed off. Not closed off, we've closed off over here. But anyway, I'm starting here. Single, two chain. This whole row will be about double crochets, one per stitch. Where we have that one chain space, we'll be doing one double crochet. On the edges, there is no increase, okay? So one per stitch and one inside of the one chain and then one per stitch again 
So uh, very simple, nothing to it. One double crochet and only on the edges we'll be doing two double crochet where we have the two chain stitch. Okay. So I'll meet you at the edge. So now I'm reaching in my two chain stitch. So I'm going to do two double crochet in my two chain stitch. And then one per stitch. So I've reached my two chain again on the edge doing two. There is no increase because we are already increasing two inside of this chain stitch, okay? So this is how we're going to do it all the way around. Where we have one chain, we do one double crochet. Where we have two chain, we're doing two double crochet and no increase at the edges on the last double crochet. We only do one double crochet on the last double crochet and proceed again with two double crochet on the two chain stitch. Okay, so one only over here and two on the chain. I'll meet you at the end. I'm cutting my thread after this and coming back in with the red. Okay, everyone, so going into row 15, I'm going to start here just on the last motive where we have that double crochet and I'm going to do a double crochet. So we're going to create groups of seven double crochet knots. So single two chain into the next one, double crochet into the next one, double crochet. I'm going to have a total of seven double crochets. I have created seven double crochets. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three and coming in my fourth double crochet and create those seven double crochet groups. So Two, four, six, seven, one, two, three. Again, skip one, two, three on my fourth. Create those seven double crochet groups again. I need to fix my thread a little bit more. It's not tucked in properly. We're going to make it different. I'm skipping is only at the edges. Two, four, six, one more. Okay, so two, four, six, seven. I'm going to do like five loops of three chain, be, uh, skipping the three going into the fourth. Only once I finish doing five, we're supposed to have seven groups here at the edge before we change the uh, skipping. So I've created already my five, one, two, three, four, and five uh, three chain loops. Okay, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just confirm here again. So yeah, it's six groups and five chain, uh, three chain. Skipping three, going into the fourth. Now we're only going to skip one. We're going to do that nine times. Still, the three chains stay the same. We skip one space and create your seven double crochets. Because we're at the edges, we don't want the pattern to pull. So we're going to do seven. I've done my seven. One, two, three. Again, I'm only skipping one space into the second Create your seven double crochet groups. We're going to do this. We're going to have nine loops, skipping one or nine chain, three chain, nine chain of three, skipping only one. And then I'll come back to you once I have the nine uh, chains, okay, at the edge. Okay, everyone. So from where we skipped only one, so I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
9. Okay, did my 7. Now we're going to skip again the 3, go into the 4th. 3 chain, skip 1, 2, 3, and to the 4th. And continue to do your 7 double crochets. Doing your 3 chains stays the same. Two, four, six, and seven. Chain three, skip one, two, three, go into the fourth, and create your seven double crochets. Okay. Okay, everyone. So on this side, after we had skipped only one, we started. Skip after we had the nine loops, we started skipping three into the fourth. I've done six loops one, two, three, four, five, six. Did my seven double crochets, going to do my three chain and skipping only one again, all the way to the other edge until we finish, obviously. So three, four. Five, six, and seven. Chain three, skip one, and into the next one. Okay? Skipping only one now. Two, three, and so on until we meet here at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much on my last one. And I'm going to close in my second chain, single and two chain. So from the one that we started skipping only one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on a minute. Let me just make sure because sometimes I get carried away. One, we started skipping only one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight uh, loops that on this edge. Now, we're going to go into the next double crochet with slip stitch. I'm coming back in with a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to do a total of five double crochets. That means I'm not working the first one and I'm not working the last one. Okay. And this is row 16, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, row 16. One chain. Where we have that middle um, a second chain, I'm going in it and create three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one, skip the first one, come into the second and do five double crochets. This whole row will be like this all the way to the end. One chain, come in the second double crochet, which is the middle one, and create three double crochets in the same space. Chain one, skip the first one, come on the second one. So we're building the little hearts at the edge. This is the foundation of the little hearts, the three double crochet groups that we're doing. Okay, and then five double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished row 16, going into row 17. I'm coming in to the next stitch, so always skipping the first and the last. Coming back in again, doing my single, my two chains. We have one more row after this, and then we're done. So I'm going to do three double crochets down. One per stitch, one chain. I'm coming in my 
first double crochet with two double crochets. On my second one, I'm doing three double crochets in the same stitch, the middle one. On my last one, I'm doing two double crochets. So we have a total of seven double crochets. Two, four, six, seven. And actually, we don't need to do a chain. We're coming directly. I did a chain, but it's okay. No, no issue. We're coming directly into the, uh, skipping the first double crochet and not working the last double crochet. And repeating everything again. So I'm going to come in directly on the first double crochet of the three group, the three double crochet group, two double crochet on the first one, three on the middle one, and two on the last one, total of seven double crochets. If your stitch is too tight, you can do a one chain stitch. Again, doing three double crochet, one per stitch. Okay, and this is how we're going to repeat this row all the way to the end, the same way. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Like I said, if you need to do a one chain stitch, go ahead. In case you see it's pulling too much, don't stress about it. Just do one chain stitch, okay? You have that option, especially for people that have very tight um, tension. Do your one chain stitch. Okay, if I see it's pulling, I'll be doing the same thing. So three double crochet in the center and two on the last one. Okay, one chain and then go ahead. And if your tension is too loose, then don't do any chain stitch. Just go in directly. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys finished row 17 going into row 18. I said it was going to be the final one, but it's not. We have one more row after that. So going into row 18, then we have row 19. Okay, so I'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch to this first double crochet. Single, two chain, and one more double crochet in the same space. Next space, one double crochet long. Next space, two together. Next space, one alone. Next space, two together. Next space, one alone. Next space, which is the last two together. So now we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven double crochets. We're going to go directly into the next space or the next heart, I should say. Two double crochet, next stitch, one alone, next stitch, two double crochet, next stitch, one alone. Next stitch, two double crochet. Next stitch, one alone. And the last one, two double crochet. Okay, we're going to do this all the way around the same way. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing row 18, going to the last row, row 19. Now, I must remind you, this is not big. This is basically just decoration uh, to put in front of the sink. It's a small uh, rug, small mat, if you want to call it. If you want to go bigger, if your your sink, your 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 furniture, your drawers, whatever is bigger, then you should add at the beginning by tens. Okay, maybe I should have mentioned that at the beginning. Um, probably will. Probably will record just a little recording and add it 
uh, into the beginning so people will know because uh, this is not that big, right? Okay, so I've closed in with slip stitch coming into the last row. I'm coming back in that space there with a single. And I'm going to count one, two, on my third one, I'm going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, one more, five. I'm going to skip one, two on my third one, single. I'm going to skip one, two on my third one, five double crochets again. So pretty much we're closing up these little hearts. Got these little flies flying around, it's just bothering me. And then coming in between the hearts with a single. So I have my first heart closed up. Again, skip one, two, come into the third one. It's just a repeat now. And do your five double crochets. Skip one, two on my third one single skip one two on my third one five double crochets come in between the hearts with a single so i have my second heart closed and then it's optional for you if you want to add the flower or two you can, which I will be adding to match the rest of my, my uh, set. So I'll be adding flower and leaves. The tutorial is out already. I'll leave the link below if you're interested in creating this specific flower. I like this flower because it's flat. It's not something that, you know, once you, I'm gonna glue it on with hot gun glue. Um, you can do it this way or you can do it, you know, put two leaves like that. Oh, I managed to kill the little, the little fly. I know it sounds awful, but it is what it is, right? Okay, so then you can put it like that too. And put another one here. And just another leaf here. Like, okay. And I'll leave the measurements below. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Stay tuned for the next one. It will be the half moon rug for the tub. Okay. Thank you, everyone.